Hi, and welcome back to Beans and Bezels. A few weeks ago, I bought and reviewed the Christopher Ward C60 Blue. That was a limited edition release that marked the first collaboration between Christopher Ward and the Blue Marine Foundation. And all profits were donated to the foundation with a total of 275,000 US dollars being raised. I enjoyed reviewing that watch and I loved the idea behind it as well as the design. Christopher Ward is taking this collaboration and their Tide product line further and recently released this C60 Tide, which joins their roster as a production model and also features their Tide straps made from recycled ocean plastic. This watch has a retail price of 1,095 US dollars on the, on the Tide strap and $1,215 on the metal bracelet. If you time your purchases right, you should be able to use one of Christopher Ward's $125 discount codes, bringing the watch on strap to under $1,000 US dollars, which I think is an incredible price. Let's check it out. I measured the case to be 41.75 millimeters in diameter, 48.75 millimeters from lug to lug, and 14.25 millimeters tall. I've said this multiple times and I'll say it again. Christopher Ward makes some of the best finished cases in this price category. And even compared to a lot of mid-tier Swiss luxury brands that cost two to three times more. In a recent interview, Mike Franz said that Christopher Ward uses the same case supplier as Tudor. So that probably explains a lot of this. The mid case does a great job of carving out a lot of that 14.25 millimeter height using a combination of brush surfaces and polished relieved edges. The mid case extends out into a pair of short and curved down lugs. The lug width is 22 millimeters. The bezel section accounts for a significant fraction of the overall height. The bezel grip is easy to grip and operate and seats a beautiful ceramic blue insert with loomed numerals. In my opinion, this is a huge improvement over the all ceramic insert of the C60 blue and adds a lot more steel to counter the abundance of blue on this watch. There is an inner steel bezel element which is part of the fixed case and has etched markers that are filled with black paint. The bezel action is excellent and everything lines up great. There is a 6.3 mm screw down crown at the 3 o'clock position that is easy to grip and operate and is also very well designed with a blue ring and the Tide logo in the center. The crown is protected by a beautiful crown guard design that has elegant polished and brushed surfaces. This watch has a solid screw down case back and is rated for up to 600 meters of water resistance. This dial follows the design of the C60 Blue closely with a few changes that I see as improvements. The base of the dial is sapphire with the Blue Marine Foundation's logo motif printed on it. I believe the base sapphire layer is tinted using a polycarbonate element, unlike the C60 Black Sapphire, which is smoked. The quality of printing across the dial is good, including the outer minute track. This is printed in white with pastel blue accents for the hour markers to match the seconds hand. The indices are a trademark Christopher Ward style at this point with a combination of brushed stop surfaces and polished and angled front surfaces. Unfortunately, the quality control on this particular unit is a slight departure from the excellent work that I've seen in the past six to seven Christopher Ward watches as I noticed some particles and debris on a few indices, as well as some stray particles on the dial. But this is a prototype and I've typically reviewed production units, so I'm certain this is a one-off occurrence and one that Christopher Ward would, ha would happily rectify if given the chance. Critics of the nine o'clock text can rejoice knowing that they moved it to under the 12 o'clock index now. And this seems to be where the brand is heading based on their past few releases. I can't say I'll miss the nine o'clock text and I love this new era of Christopher Ward. What this also brings is a beautifully symmetric date window at the six o'clock position with the dark blue date wheel and white text. I love that I can see the entire date wheel through the dial and it adds tons of character to the dial and watch. The hands are also typical of Christopher Ward design with very good finishing and tons of light play. The seconds hand is painted in the same pastel blue color as the rest of the accents and I think it looks very good. Christopher Ward does great design and this watch is just another on their list of design wins. Overall, I love the design and think this is my favorite sapphire dial from their collection. Everything just works and comes together beautifully. The loom on this watch is fantastic. Christopher Ward has really upped their game 
in the loom department lately and between this watch and the c63c lando gmt that i reviewed recently i think they're heading in the right direction where loom is concerned the wave pattern on the dial is also loomed unlike on the c60 blue and i think that's a great design addition the loom doesn't last very long, as you'd expect given the proportions of that layer, but it's a neat little party trick and looks beautiful when lit up. The hands and indices are all very generously loomed with grade X1 BLC1 Superluminova, which I believe is the highest grade available. The hands glow bright, last long and are comparable with some of the better loomed watches on the market today. Here I compared the loom performance with my Helios Fairwind. And I also compared it with my Seiko SPB207J1 or the Marine Master 200. This watch uses a COSC certified Salita SW200-1 movement. We're all familiar with the Salita 200 by now, and I think it's a reasonable choice for this price range. The chronometer certification is a value add to me and is a commitment to much tighter bounds on accuracy. Aside from the performance guarantee, COSC certified Salita SW200-1 movements are also spec better than the standard grade Salita movements, so I always recommend people pay the extra for these movements if that's an option. After owning and reviewing a bunch of Christopher Ward watches, I've realized that I tend to prefer their slightly larger watches, even though I have a modest six and a half inch wrist size. I love the 41 mm C6 Phi case, and this 41.75 mm C60 feels great too. The 48.75 mm lug to lug width really brings it all together well, and it wears quite comfortably. The 14.25 mm height is worth noting, and this watch definitely sits larger on the wrist compared to a C65. But the height isn't visibly noticeable thanks to some excellent design work on the case sides, and a well-constructed case back. That said, it is a relatively tall watch, so if you prefer your watches low on the wrist, this may not be for you. For the best balanced wrist experience, I would recommend their bracelet. The height is typically more exaggerated when on strap. Their bracelets are excellent, and I would have loved to try this watch on one. My final thoughts are that this is one of the best versions of the Sapphire series still date, and definitely the best blue watch that they've produced. The updated bezel design really goes a long way in balancing out the brightness of the ceramic. The center-aligned logo and date window are welcome changes and speak directly to my OCD. The loom dial design is a lovely addition and I personally like the bigger case size more, even though my wrists aren't too large. And to finally wrap this up, I would love to see them bring this dial and bezel style to the C65 case family. That would be something I buy immediately without a second of hesitation. But for those comfortable with a slightly larger watch, you won't be disappointed with this one. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to read my other reviews in the link below.